leaders of the trans group? Answer, yes. I am thoroughly surprised at the many comments in my words. Of course, I am naturally also disappointed about the religious portrayals of me as the enemy which have been voiced and that have buried themselves deeply in your mind. You should learn to set yourselves apart from the old conditioning and not to stand quasi under the control of something or someone who has already been born for 5,000 years. You are, after all, free spirits. Those are my final words. Which kinds of paranormal activities can one generate with that? Answer, all kinds. Everything that you call paranormal. As I said, this special layer lies in sphere of influence, the drown, between the more virginetic information layers and the matter layers that can interact with respect to both sides. That is to say, it can be interacted with solid matter as well as with mind or mental information, where we can achieve everything that is generally designated as telekinesis and telepathy. The connection absorption with another consciousness. Awareness is generally separate in the procedure from the simple influence of matter, since different consciousness. Awareness fields work with different oscillations. A consciousness. Awareness that sends or a consciousness. Awareness that listens must first adapt itself to the other mind exactly, before any access is possible. Most species also have chances to block the alien access, but you people don't have this. The following is generally valid. The stronger the paranormal abilities of a species, the simpler the adaptation and the access. Our own abilities are not so powerfully developed. Therefore, first we have to learn specifically alien mind influence in order to use our mimicry. For example, when mimicry is actually quite simple in your mind due to the implanting of the on, off switch. Some of these abilities are also partially inherited. Mother and child at my time as an example are attuned exactly during the first months of life, partially also in the egg covering in the expectant mother and communicate telepathically. In order to influence you people, we need a certain amount of time for practicing, despite your simple structure. Therefore, it is forbidden, for example, for adults of my kind before the age of enlightenment to come to the surface of the earth. That term is synonymous, along with other things, with full physical strength. In the case of not fully developed abilities, the danger of discovery by you would be too great. By the way, there are of course numerous secret teachings about the real possibilities which can give one these abilities. Whenever an alien mind ought to be influenced, then there are some generally valid steps, which are set into motion by other extraterrestrial species. First and foremost, the alien oscillation must be felt, something generally that is done automatically by the brain, that is, the one the field oscillation, but the other quasi electrical brain waves here in the normal space, which matter inhabits. That is not especially difficult. After that, one simply probes for the other consciousness, awareness in the mind with a post plasma manifestation, the sphere of influence, the drown, reacts, and the connection is there. Now one can read out information from the first one and record the desired information to the second one in the correct location. You asked me last time whether you people have the opportunity to protect yourselves against this influence, and I told you that only an awake and concentrated mind had any kind of chance to withstand it. In this state of mind, the oscillations change very abruptly and access becomes complicated. More precisely, it can come as a painful recoil. Whenever you close your eyes, then the field comes flat, and alien access to the mind is immediately possible and without restriction. In terms of your chances against the more highly developed species, you have none at all. They are able to adjust the oscillations faster than you can change. We grow up with this kind of knowledge, we know how one makes use of these powers, and where they come from. We are acquainted with theory and practice. You are not. Therefore, you really don't understand what happens in your world. You see only one side of existence, not the other, I mean here both are physical. Everything paranormal is dualistic, and it exists in a space that matter inhabits as well as in a sphere of influence, and drow, to be explained. It can only be explained by the acceptance of the latter, because the sphere of influence, the drum, is the basis. I would welcome an end to the scientific question since you really aren't grasping them anyway. We're wasting more or less valuable time by doing this. Only one last question. At our first meeting in December, you made it quite clear that you didn't want to discuss scientific and paranormal concerns, where the openness would assume a quasi bipolar character. The resulting connection and the field would therefore not be stable in the normal condition and method and unseated for tasks. As a result, the entire field spectrum is shifted to a higher plasma like condition, whereby the spectrum comes together with this harsh shift into the opposite ball side. The word is not correct, but the force field and it resembles quite closely a gravitational shift. This shifting causes a tilting of a repulsing quasi bipolar force, which now no longer flows to the interior of the force field, but rather flows partly to the exterior of the field. The result is an imperstratifying reflected force field which is very difficult to modulate within certain technical boundaries in relation to its own characteristics. Separate yourself mentally from the illusion that which you see is the true nature of the universe. It is, at best, the surface of a side. Imagine for yourself that all the matter here, you, this table, this pencil, this technical device, this paper, does not really exist, but that it is rather only the result of a field of elation and a concentration of energy. All matter that you see, every creature, every planet and star in this universe, has an information energy equivalent in the sphere of influence which is located on a main field, a general level, of things. Now, there is not only one level, but several. Last time, I had mentioned that highly developed species which is capable of changing levels, which is something completely different from the simple bubble changing, for bubbles are a part of each and every level. Do you understand? Dimensions, as you call them, are a part of a solitary bubble, bubbles or universal foam are a part of a level, and levels are layers in the sphere of influence, while the sphere of influence, acting in the capacity of single physical size, is essentially unending. It is composed of innumerable information and energy relative, for the survival of any species argues for many varieties, among them your own, as well as for even the most varied of the worst or negatively directed deeds. I won't even exclude my own kind in this regard, for there have been certain occurrences in the past which I don't personally welcome, but about which I would also not like to go into detail. None of these occurrences have happened in the last 200 years of your time scale. But please note the following, there are no absolutely good and there are no absolutely bad species, because each and every species always consists of individuals. And an individual may not always even be aware of their own trusted values and functioning loyalties or for that matter the premeditated varieties of the worst existing negatively directed deeds. Divide up the conception of the physical world because each existence consists of different layers, let's say for simplicity's sake that it consists of a material illusion and a sphere of influence. Certain physical conditions are associated only with the realm of the material, as in concrete, while other and more complicated conditions are associated only with the sphere of influence of the material world. Your conception of the physical world is based upon a simple material illusion. 
That illusion is further subdivided into three elementary or basic conditions of matter. A fourth and very important condition also exists, which you simply pay attention to more or less as you choose. It is the one bordering on the sphere of influence or plasma realm. For you, the theory for a controlled transformation or an elevation of the frequency of matter and stale existence of this fourth aggregate condition of matter is not very common, or it exists at a very primitive level. But rather I mean a higher aggregate condition of matter. The plasma state of matter is a special form of matter which lies between its real existence and the sphere of influence, that is, a complete loss of mass and pure accretion of energy of various form whenever matter is pushed or shoved. Essentially, in the world of real physics, there are no bipolar forces, but rather only observer-dependent reflective behavior of single, large unified force at different levels. With anti-gravity or the displacement of gravitational characteristics into levels, one can, for example, cause apparently solid matter to levitate. This method is employed partly by us and by extraterrestrials as well as a means of propulsion according to my information. There have been a great number of deaths of your people because of intense radiation and field disturbances. Don't you agree? This is also an example of the business regarding the question of good and evil. You people play with unknown forces and thereby accept the death of colleagues of your own kind, for they are dying for a greater cause, namely, for the advancement of your technology, which as a result is being put into place once again for the purpose of war, that is, for negative pursuits. Now, one can give you the benefit of the doubt, that only the least number of your kind have any knowledge about these alien projects which are, as you explain it, top secret. It was told to you that the higher the ordinal or ranking number of basic matter, the simpler the heightening of the condition, but that is only partially correct. If you can't circumvent these powers, then you're better off not attempting it. The illusion of matter is fused, the fields in the sphere of influence overlap each other, but the main force would be reflected by that process and would assume a quasi-bipolar character. The resulting connection and the field would therefore not be stable in the normal condition of matter and unsuited for tasks. As a result, the entire field spectrum is shifted to a higher plasma-like condition, whereby the spectrum comes together with this harsh shifting to the opposite ball side. The word is not correct, of the force field and it resembles quite closely a gravitational shift. This shifting causes a tilting of a repulsing quasi-bipolar force, which now no longer flows to the interior of the force field, but rather flows partly to the exterior of the field. The result is an interstratifying reflective force field which is very difficult to modulate within certain technical boundaries in relation to its own characteristics. Separate yourself mentally from the illusion that which you see is the true nature of the universe. It is, at best, the surface of a side. Imagine for yourself that all the matter here, you, this table, this pencil, this technical device, this paper, does not really exist, but that it is rather only the result of a field of elation and a concentration of energy. All matter that you see, every creature, every planet and star in this universe, has an information energy equivalent in the sphere of influence which is located on a main field, a general level, of things. Now, there is not only one level, but several. Last time, I had mentioned that highly developed species were just capable of changing their means and their energy conditions. These layers contain information, as an example, about a simple structure of matter or extreme frequency, but also there is stored information stemming from the development of matter. Are you familiar with the human concept of morphogenetic fields? One part of the layer could be designated as such. Now there is still another intermediary layer for which you unfortunately have no human concept, since the theory is not common in human thinking. Let's call it a parallel, for this layer is mainly responsible for everything which you call PSI and paranormal and which lies outside the boundaries of your primitive science. This parallel lies between the layers of matter and the morphogenetic layers of the field in the sphere of influence. It can actively integrate with both. Your body, for example, is mirrored as a field in the sphere of influence. Oh drow, that doesn't mean it does not also exist here as well, as flesh, blood, bones, in the form of matter springs or atoms, but not only that. Existence is always a duality. Some layers of the field contain simple information about the solid matter of your body and its frequency, while other layers contain information about your spirit, your consciousness, awareness, or consciousness. In this case, is a simple energy matrix divided into different layers of your field in the sphere of influence. Nothing more, nothing less. Genuine awareness can also exist here on the matter side, but only in the form of post plasma, the fifth form of matter. With the necessary physical knowledge and the corresponding technology, the consciousness, awareness matrix, or soul, can also be separated from its field of rest. It can, despite its removal, continue to exist in a self-sufficient manner for a certain amount of time. Creatures with more powerful mental powers can have a direct influence on the parallel by means of their consciousness, awareness fields. Now this layer is not limited only to the individual, but rather as a part of a general information layer. You could call it in a prosaic sense the community soul, that is connected with all animate and inanimate matter and all consciousness which exists on this main level. The biological cause for these abilities lies on the side of matter, by the way, in the pituitary gland, which always is in position to generate the frequencies to actively control the sphere of influence, Van Ram. Even you people could theoretically do this, however, you are solidly blocked in these things. As I have said, the parallel can interact with mind as well as with matter. For example, if I decide to use my mental powers once more in order to move this pencil, then, simply said, I imagine in my mind how my consciousness, awareness expands, amplifies itself on the matter side in the form of post plasma to the pencil. In the sphere of influence this causes simultaneously an automatic command from the consciousness, awareness layer to the parallel layer to interact with the matter layer of the pencil. Since the parallel layer is not confined to the body, it is not even a problem for the pencil lies over there, for I can unerringly reach it, even without moving my matter body. Post plasma on this side, parallel on the other. That is fascinating. We now answer, the last time I saw really no necessity in overburdening you with facts of that kind, and now you are obviously overburdened. Therefore, I had preferred only to mention these topics in a peripheral sense. Apparently, however, some of my performances today have set you to thinking about your world, something that can't be all bad. And by the way, your human scientists will tend to regard my comments as humbug. And so I see no great danger in spreading this information widely. No one will pay much attention to it. By the way, the words of people who have characterized me as a creature of evil have their basis in the belief in a cult even the indivisible seems to be incorrect. The coloring is very dark and the interior optical distortion is very noticeable. Presumably a reconstruction of the original system by your scientists. Since the alien species has just not given you any more information since the disagreement, they are rebuilding systems single-handedly without actually being able to understand what kind of dangerous thing they are doing there. 
This construction does not make the system better, only more unstable. Both of the forward cylinders are too close to each other, they will definitely flow into each other. The pilot shows near powerful residual radiation. It was probably the case that high elements were used again as customary for the shipping. It is in any case very dangerous to be unshielded in the vicinity of the field. Actually, he was predestined for contact. He was open-minded, honest, intelligent, not religiously inclined or conditioned. He lived alone and isolated, and no one would believe him, should he decide to go public with his story. I dared to take the step, but then I had serious doubt about the propriety of my act, especially when he reacted dot 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 very dot 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 violently. He got control of himself again after a time and we could finally talk concretely about definite matters. Now he had no choice but to believe me dot. Can you describe your subterranean homeland location? Answer, I can attempt to do so, but I certainly will not tell you where this place is located. My homeland lies in one of our smaller underground settlements to the east of here. I'll give you some numbers so that you can make